identify the product of A multiplied by what? By 15. Two numbers that when you multiply them, they will give you what? 15. And when you add those two numbers together, they will still give you what? 8. Positive 8. Those numbers will give you positive 15. And they will still give you what? Positive 8. So without wasting our time, thinking very fast, we know that the answer is what? 3 and 5. 3 plus 5 give you 8. 3 times 5 give you 15. So what do we do? We now say that a squared plus 3a plus what? 5a plus 15. Come here, I cannot say. Yes. Are you following me? Now, a outside, we've got to find price right now. Bracket, a inside, plus what? 3. Close the bracket. What do I do? Again, plus 5. Bracket, a plus what? 3. Bracket. We have a plus 5, or a plus 3. Let's use one of these because they are equal. So I cannot say A is equal to minus 5. Or what? Minus 3. That's my final answer. As simple as that. I cannot move to what? Um, I cannot move to the second one. That's just it. Move to the second one. Follow me. Come and say B, right? B, right? B squared plus 4C and it's 21. So what are the two numbers? When you multiply them to give you 21, when you add them to give you what? Plus 4. Minus 21, when you multiply them, they will give you what? Um, plus 4. I can see that 3 and 7 will do that. Because 3 times 7 will give you this. So 7 minus 3 will give you 4. So C squared plus 7c minus 3c minus 21. I can say c bracket c plus 7 bracket minus 3 bracket c plus 7 bracket minus 3 times 7 will give you minus minus 3 plus uh, minus 3 times plus 7 rather will give you what minus 21. So we have, let's factorize, we have c minus 3 over c plus 7. So our c is equals to plus 3 or minus 7. These are the two numbers, as simple as that. So moving to this place, um, I cannot say, let me clean um, this one and I'll resolve. The last one there, c is equal to s squared plus 5x plus t. Two numbers that when you multiply them, give you minus c's, but when you add them, give you a plus 5 is c than 1. So this is why we have s squared plus c x minus x equals to 6. We have x bracket x plus 6 brackets one. What do we have? X plus 6. It's minus here. So we have x minus 1. Or x plus 6. So our x is equal to 1 
for minus 6 is equals to 1 minus 6. As simple as that. So with, without wasting time, it's very easy to, to uh, factorize, factorize uh, from mathematical terms that are easy to uh, factorize. They're easy to factorize. The same thing I can solve it with another method with um, quadratic equation or using the completing the square method to also solve it. It's as simple as it is. So nothing is hard there. What I want you to do is follow me. Hit the subscribe button and support me. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.